In this video I'm going to show you how to style uh, the links on menu text so that you don't get that default blue color that browsers like to throw on it and you get the look that you're looking for. Alright, so here is how I want the menu to look ultimately. Uh, you know, white text on a black background. All right. Now if I hit refresh we can see what happens uh, when I've added the links uh, we're getting this default styling which is the the dark blue which shows up horribly on black and uh, since we're on the home page it's showing as visited and the default color for that is of course the purple that we see here okay so this is absolutely uh, not what we want so let's go to the CSS code and see what's happening there now um, this is the styling for my menu, um, the, the menu div that's containing uh, that text. And to style the links, uh, what I first need, I'm going to paste it in here, is uh, CSS for the anchor uh, attributes, which the anchors are what uh, create links. And there's four substyles for that. Uh, there's link and that's the default view when nothing's been clicked there's uh, active uh, which is the currently selected uh, link there's visited which is like the purple that we saw and there's hover which of course is a hover effect when you have your cursor over it now each of these uh, need to be uh, styled and applied to the uh, menu div here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the menu uh, div ID in the CSS here and I'm going to put it in front of each of these. If I had just left them as they were, um, they would apply to the whole document. Uh, as it is, the um, new styling will only apply to the menu. All right. So if we save that, and I'm going to click here on the other screen to upload the changes and let's refresh here okay now we see that we have the white text is back right there's their links I have a hover effect to have uh, have it underlined to show that it's going to work as a link and um, you know the, the 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 purple issue everything is gone so let's go back and go through the code in detail now so the important things to remember are um, if you're applying it to the whole document uh, all you need is the you know the a link the a colon active a colon visited and a colon hover styles um, in this case I wanted to apply it to the menu only which is in a um, if we look over here uh, here's our menu div, the opening take for that, right, it closes down here, here here are the links, so that's what I mean when I say the menu div, right, it's a block of code uh, defined as a menu within the source code of the document. When I switch back to uh, design view you see it's this black block here, and let's go to the CSS. So that's what I mean when I'm being specific to the menu. These new styles here will only apply to uh, code in the menu blocks. Okay, and uh, essentially, I just wanted them always to stay white. So I've put color and uh, chosen white here, uh, which is the six Fs, the hexadecimal code for white. Uh, in CSS, you can look up codes elsewhere if you need to know for particular colors, right? Uh, six zeros is black if you need that one. Um, so throughout all four, right, I have the white. And uh, because I don't like the underlying look as a default on the menu, text decoration, I've set to none, 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 except for the hover, because it is nice for there to be some kind of hover effect to show the user that uh, something is going to happen when they click, right? And it doesn't have to be an underline. You could leave that as none and have it change to a different color. That's always fine. I could have it go from white to red or whatever. 
uh, if you're in um, Dreamweaver, which I am, uh, you could, you know, make sure you're on your CSS styles tab, and you'll see here color text decoration for for this hover effect. You know, I could I could switch that to the color red here, and uh, my choices for text decoration are underline, overline, line through, uh, blink. Please never use that, and inherit from the parent. Right? Uh, we'll leave that at underline. Uh, I'll put this back to white because that's what I want, but it just shows you. Uh, depending on the editor you're using, it may be very simple to select your alternatives. Okay, and um, the other very important thing to remember is uh, it, your CSS should be laid out in this order. So the link first, active, visited, then hover. If if the order is mixed up, um, you may find that you're not going to get your hover effect. You know, certain things aren't going to work unless they're in this order. So um, keep that in mind. And I hope this helps you to style your CSS.